Yeah, I think at one point it was simply a, you know, just making kind of a conscious effort in, in the fact that I, you know, had worked with unique uh, uh, high-end properties uh, that I did have, you know, college athletic background. I played baseball in college. Um, and so, well, look, you know, I sort of, I, I know their realm. I certainly sell properties uh, and market properties that they'd be inter- interested in. Why not try to I'm gonna kind of cater to to those folks. So, you know, uh, it, it was a, uh, you know, slow evolution. It's one of those things like we talked about, you don't gain that trust overnight. Um, but I think like, like many things in, in real estate started with uh, one player and, you know, absolutely did an amazing job with him and then was able to leverage that, uh, you know, with his okay to, to, to say, hey, you know, geez, I just worked with so-and-so. Uh, we know would love to help you out, and you know over time that grows, and then you know once you're able to sort of start linking those associations with either the team or okay, well here's a guy that used to play in that city, now that guy comes to your city, you can leverage the fact that oh well, you know I know you know Joe Smith, yeah help him out he was real happy, and those again that that circle of trust as you mentioned. Those recommendations carry um, so much weight. You know, once you're able to start using those, um, you know, it's really kind of a game changer.